another mode of transport used in urban areas around Thailand is the Rot Song Tel behind me right here. It is a pickup truck adapted into a share ride similar to a minibus. Inside, there are two rows of passenger seats, which is why it is called Song Tel, which literally means two rows. The Song Tao has been around in Thailand and other Southeast Asian countries for a long time since before buses became popular, in fact. In Bangkok, where commuters have more options such as buses, vans, or the underground and SkyTrain services, the Song Tao has become a feeder service along narrow and lengthy side streets, where buses don't go and in those places which are too far for a motorcycle taxi to reach and still be cost-effective. Song Tao serve routes where buses are limited, like in this area, which is in the outskirts of Bangkok, connecting to Smut Bragan. What is great about the Song Tao is that it's a cheap option as a feeder service, costing only 8 baht per ride. It connects people with the main mode of transport into the city, so it's relatively convenient, cheap, and fast. Song Tao do, however, have some safety issues since there are no doors. The only way for people to embark and disembark is via a step at the open back of the truck. It offers almost no protection in case of an accident. Passengers can just fly out of the truck if it is hit hard. Plus, when it is full, some passengers can also just stand on the step and hang on to the pole at the back, which is extremely dangerous. Chalalak Dan Wan Pin, Thai PBS World.